So, number 17 in the column, Tele Air of Power. Event Producer Training. So this is number 17, Students Need to Feel at Home and Welcomed. Um, this is something that might sound simple, but it's very powerful right from the very beginning. You know, we already covered, um, uh, you know, in the process of selling, uh, the person wants to do the workshop, what happens if your body language is not positive, but here we're, we repeat this deeper. If the person says, hmm, I'd like to do the workshop, and your instant response, not a fraction of a second delay, is what an intelligent person. You know, would you like to um, pay by cash or by check? You know, or some positive instant deep response, the person is already feeling at home and confident. And um, apart from that, a lot of response to workshops, be efficient, um, learn how to be a therapist, um, the secret of success, or you know, many of these types of things that people respond to when they want to do workshops, are values of the spirit. Well, actually the body doesn't care so much. The body has body values. It wants to feel comfortable. It wants to have friends, you know, now it will work if it has to, but um, the fact is the body needs to feel at home, supported, a friendly environment. What people have value above all things at the body level is deep experiences in common together. Now I noticed this um, where one person who was really successful in teaching workshops over a decade, Michael Harner. Um, when he described his, um, uh, on the two-day course, he described his um, advanced course at Ethelon for a 12-day course for a few thousand dollars. Um, he said a few things you'll learn on the course. Some things sounded quite nice including that uh, migrating whales are seen, you know, early on in the course. They're passing by because this is right on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. And the people there said at Esalen that one year when he started the course a few days late, the whales arrived late. So it still matched the advertising that mi migrating whales are seen passing. Huh? But, you know, you're not going to pay $3,000 for a course just because of migrating whales, or maybe you would. But, you know, that sounds nice. But, um, uh, and the things you would learn, you know, you'd be able to do soul retrievals and make people feel better, and all that was really nice. But the thing that really convinced people to do his course was, you will go through such deep changes together that it makes friends for life. Now he didn't say which changes, but they must be really deep changes if it makes friends for life. And that was the thing that most sells his course of many thousands. Not explaining anything. Or he explains little bits, but that's not the big seller. The big seller is you will make friends for life because the changes are deep. And that proves the changes must be so deep, they're better than any explanation. And um, that really is what is wanted. And if the body doesn't get that, uh, it's just not going to get to the course. Now, who does most of the work to pay for the course is the body. You know, it has to get what it needs. And it needs assistants who are so friendly and needs a workshop organizer who just really cares that they are there. And um, this type of um, f 
friendliness, togetherness of the body um, really carries through to the coffee break, how you um, behave yourself you know, in the coffee break. Um, if someone has some difficult time, aha, uh -huh, and it's so good you are here, is a better response than trying to solve what they said the problem was. Now, if it's some emotional problem, they're scared, whatever, it's so good you're here. Um, and that welcoming really helps very much in the production of um, uh, results. Uh, you know, cooperation between the spirit and body is one of the results we want during the course and we get, but it takes quite some work because normally there's quite some conflict between the various levels. The conflicts are so huge that right across the world, as we sit here, people are using the terms as a scientific word, the unconscious mind, like the mind that we kind of don't know what's in it very much uh, because we're not talking with it. You know, we need to learn to speak with it, and we will, over the course of a number of... Uh, um, trainings um, and this um, deep friendship um, with the people so they feel honored means they can get through almost any process. You know, I remember um, someone uh, who was popularizing in some distant country. Um, you know, a brew from the Amazon, ayahuasca. And the first visit uh, as I passed through her country was um, ayahuasca cures all things. You know, you drink this and have the ritual and it cures all things. Now, passed by a year later, she says ayahuasca reveals all things. Then you have to work on it to actually cure them. A year later, she said, with ayahuasca, people have so much depth of emotion together. They feel like they're in hell for half an hour, then they feel like they're in heaven for half an hour. They're experiencing so much emotion together, that's why they're coming back. Well, um, even though they may or may not have gained more than that, um, even though they may or may not gain much more than that in whatever other workshop, uh, the body needs that they gain that, the depth of emotion together. And in the Atelier of Power workshops, yes, people go through hell a little, they go through heaven a little, um, They sometimes they cry, sometimes they scream, and whatever. Um, you know, it is the whole range. Um, that is experienced, and um, this is something that we encompass as part of life, part of what's normal. Uh, someone says, I have this negative emotion. Well, all right. You, like, um, it's like the orchestra conductor says, I have this double bass. Yeah, okay, what's your problem? You know, like, double bass needs a violin, which needs a flute, and you know, which needs a euphonium, which needs a bassoon. Like, that's what you have to make an orchestra. Like, there's not a right instrument, there's not a wrong instrument, they play together. Emotions are like this. Opening up to the full range of emotion is, uh, while remaining present and conscious, um, as your own eternal self is, of course, an object of um, the entire workshop series. And uh, it's your job to welcome the students into this miraculous possibility. And there we were. It was number 17. Students need to feel at home and welcome.